everybody. I am, let me turn this around. Hi, how is everyone? I am making this video to show you that how important it is to be well prepared um, for any situation. My truck I showed up yesterday um, at the Kenworth dealer here in Kansas City, Missouri because um, I'm having issues. My windshield washer uh, blade stopped working about 300 miles back or 250 miles, something like that back. And um, I had to spend the night at a truck stop, drive 45 miles without any windshield wipers in the pouring rain. And then when I finally got to the truck stop in Salina, Kansas, uh, the next day, it had stopped raining even though it was really cloudy, um, but it was misty out. And I went up under the fuel island. I ran inside and got some rain -X and climbed up on the engine and went ahead and put Windex all over my front windshield and drove another 200 miles here to Kansas City, Missouri to the um, Kenworth dealer. I checked in yesterday afternoon by this afternoon around noon, I went in to ask, hey, you guys haven't brought my truck in yet. Um, should I be getting a hotel room? And is should I get it for one or two days? They told me probably two days. So what I did, I just wanna share with you guys. I went ahead and packed up my groceries because most hotels nowadays, they have a refrigerator and a microwave or at least a mini fridge, right? So, um, I didn't unload my, you know, everything out of my cooler, but just to show you, in an emergency situation, I already have everything bagged. This is my broccoli. And these are my homemade tortillas I was able to make last night. I was actually able to put some, um, superfood green sprouts in here, uh, which were sunflower sprouts, um, butter lettuce sprouts, um, and some other type of sprouts. I can't remember everything. So spinach. I made my salad. I went ahead while I was uh, preparing everything. I made my salad. Um, it looks like it's enough for about three or four meals. So nothing special, just some zucchini, celery. Um, see these sprouts right here? That's what I chopped up and put in my tortillas that I made. Um, some baby field lettuces and some romaine lettuce hearts there. And uh, so what else do I have in this bag? Um, also, be careful with glass. I had two of my mineral waters in here and my bag fell out of the back of the shuttle van onto the ground and one of my mineral waters busted. So I have to see that down in there. I'm very disappointed because I only brought two with me. So, but I brought me some chicken wings, um, Brussels sprouts, a turkey wing. That's the drumette part of the turkey wing. And some ground grass-fed ground beef. I brought my butter. Yes, the best stuff in the world. Oops. Uh, I'm trying not to cut my fingers. Best stuff in the world. What else do I have in here? Okay, my fat bombs. Right. No, that's the cauliflower. I'm sorry, my bad. Cauliflower. Um, I brought my cac uh, my half a cactus uh, pad for my breakfast. My fat bombs. I made a bunch of these last night. Also, while I was sitting waiting. Ooh. Dum 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 dum. Try not to cut my fingers. <gasps> 
Uh, can I do it? Can I do it without cutting myself? Avocados. Okay. Kale, steamed kale, so I could fry that up in some butter. Um, a couple of lemons. couple of lemons and definitely mineral water and I did have two of those big bottles let me see what else do we have oh yeah my pork steak so now what I'm gonna have to do is I need to take these bags over to the sink and rinse them off because they have shards of glass on them and I don't want to get glass in my fingers and a serving of broccoli and my broken glass I'm so sad about that I love mineral water um, I'm gonna set this down for a minute now let's go over also some things here so that was my food choices right there right what I brought with me you guys may think that it seems like a lot, but it's not. It's, um, I planned on lunch today, which I, while I was sitting and waiting for the shuttle, I had a four ounce piece of lamb breast, um, two big pieces of cauliflower, an avocado, and one of my tortillas that I made, one of my homemade breads, um, or tortilla wrap, whatever you want to call it. I, that's what I had for lunch while I was sitting waiting. Um, and, uh, and then, so I planned for lunch today, for dinner tonight, for breakfast tomorrow, also for lunch tomorrow, for dinner tomorrow, and for breakfast on, um, Wednesday morning while I'm here at the hotel room. Okay. That's just enough food, hopefully to cover for two, two and a half days, right? Now, I also, if you have a pet with you, make sure you're prepared for your pet. So I brought about three days worth of food for Coco, maybe two. She doesn't really eat that much, so she eats more of my stuff than, all right. I brought my cooker for just in case, right, um, so I can cook my meals. A couple of extra paper plates, a knife. my avocado oil, my apple cider vinegar, and pepper, black pepper, um, some cumin, pink salt, because it's really high in minerals, um, nutritional yeast I also have my Bluetooth speaker so if I want to watch a movie on my phone from Netflix or even though they have cable here I also made sure I brought my phone charger and the cord for my cooker now um, if you know you're going to be a couple of days out of your truck and in a hotel room, um, if you have a hobby or, um, maybe, you know, bring a book. If you read, um, maybe the adult coloring books, if you like to pass the time that way, so you don't get bored. Um, me personally, I'm just starting crocheting back up. So, boom, I have my little projects that I'm working on right now. And I'm not saying what it is because it's a surprise. Anyway, I also got my shower bag with a few changes of clothes in there with all the my hygienal necessities. So, that's simple, right? It's basically, it's one cooler bag, one hobby bag, one extra necessity bag and then plus my um my shower bag these 
all, all of the necessary items that will keep your pockets deep while you're out on the road, right? If you have to go into the shop and you have to, um, let me turn the camera back around this way. <laughs> so yeah, if you have to go into the shop um, or you're stuck overnight somewhere, let's say you have to get a hotel room. Yes, unfortunately, whenever I leave my truck for you know, more than a few hours or overnight, I do have to pack like I'm going on a mini vacation because essentially I am. I live in my truck 30, you know, what, 27 days out of the month. So, um, also if you have any dirty clothes and you stay at a hotel room, you know, grab a load of some necessity of your underwear, your socks, and um, a couple pairs of pants and maybe three or four shirts and get those cleaned while you're, you know, on your downtime. Those are just a few um, ideas of uh, being prepared when you're shut down for more than a day or two. Anyway, love, peace, chicken grease, everybody. I hope this video helps you. Okay, stay healthy, live a long, healthy life, um, inspire somebody, be an inspiration. Bye.